All right, today we're going to show you how to reprogram your VFD um, to have a thermostat overload um, protection built into it and to change from a two pair sensor wire setup to a one pair sensor wire setup. So step one is to remove the cover. Then when the screen is on and it shows stop, you hold in the center button until it lights up P-01. If you use the up and down arrows, you gotta get to P-14. So I'm gonna go down and it goes right to P-14. You hit the center button. Right now it's set at 380 and we wanna change that to 482. Then you hit the center button to hit enter. It goes back to P14. Then you have to go up to P38 and change that from one to zero. So you hit the down arrow to get to zero, hit the center button, now that's changed. Now we go back to parameter one. And change 600 to 602. Hit enter P04. We want to change that next. Hit the center button. Change that from 10 to 15. Hit the center button. Then P15. We want to change that to 15. Hit the center button. Enter. Then P27, hit enter, that's at zero right now, we want that to be 299, hit okay. Now P30 is a little different because there's three parameters in one. So when you hit enter, it says auto zero, we want that to stay auto zero, so you just hit enter again. And then it says NC, which stands for normally closed. We want that to be normally open, so you hit the up arrow, and it changes to NO, normally open. Hit OK, and it says off, and that's what we want, so we just hit OK again. Then we change to P39, and we want this right now it's 0.0, .0 and we want 0 0.6. So you go up to 0 0.6, hit OK. Then P48, hit Enter. Right now it's set at 20.0, we want that to be 0 0.1. So we go down. Zero point one, hit OK. And P53, right now it's set at 100. We want to change it to 50. Hit OK, P54, set at 110. We want to change that to 120. Hit OK. And now we go back to P38. Hit OK and change that back to one. And what that does, when you change, go to a different parameter and try to change that, this L flashes, which means it's locked. So we've locked the parameter, or locked the VFD. So you can just hold in the center button until it says stop and you're done programming. The next step um, is to change the sensor wires. So we're gonna turn off the VFD to do that. Turn off the power. Let it, let the screen turn off. So currently you use one pair of sensor wires in terminals one and two as your enable disable and one pair of sensor wires in six and seven as your zero to 10 volt um, signal. So we're going to disconnect the one and two terminals. 
your enable disable those off or just remove them and now we're going to add in a jumper across one and two and we're going to start by just putting the jumper I just made a little jumper and I'm going to install it in terminal two to start out so tighten that down And now we're going to add a thermostat, a C415, across terminals one and three. So I have a C415 right here, and it's already wired. I wired one of the wires into the black wire and one into the red wire, and I'm not using the blue wire. So this is the wire coming out of the thermostat. And here's the other end. And so I'm going to run it from terminals one to three. So I take one lead. And I install it in terminal three. Tighten that down. And now both my jumper and my thermostat wire need to go into terminal one. So I twist them together. And I install it in terminal one. So now that the VFD is wired and you have your sensor wire and your jumper wire installed, um, I turned the fan back on and because I have the Venture Pro program to turn on at 70 degrees, the current temperature in the house is reading at 66, so nothing is happening. And the thermostat right now I have set at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So because it's not above the 110 and it's not above the 66 or the 70 degrees, neither is turning on, neither is causing it to turn on. If I were right now, the outside temperature is around uh, probably 30, maybe 40 degrees. So if we turn the thermostat the whole way down, to 40, now it's above the temperature of the thermostat. So now the VFD is being controlled by the thermostat. And it's going to run at 600 RPM. So now if we adjust the thermostat up to above the temperature in the barn, now the fan turns back off. If we come over here to the Venture Pro, I have a rheostat um, to simulate the temperature in the house. So by turning the rheostat clockwise, the temperature in the house will increase after 15 seconds of an adjustment. So if I turn it a little bit clockwise, that'll make the temperature go up. And once it gets above 70, the fan should turn on and be controlled. Um, and it turned to 75. So that means the fan kicked on. And since the minimum speed is 300 RPM and the maximum speed is uh, 600 and it's supposed to ramp between 70 degrees and 100 degrees it's slightly above 300 rpm at 356 so that's working properly and the thermostat is working properly thanks for watching